In this video, I'm going to go over different ways you can start MSC NASTRAN to perform a optimization. So there are three methods I want to go over, or two things, or two methods rather. Uh, one method is manually downloading the BDF files and performing a local or sensitivity analysis. A second method is if you're performing global optimization. This involves the use of an XML file, so this requires a special procedure. Uh, number three, once you are done with your optimization or sensitivity analysis, you need to know how to upload results back to the web app, so I will go ahead and cover that. Uh, and before I get started, uh, my name is Christian. If you are an engineer, and you have any questions on optimization, you can send me an email and I will get back to you with a response. If you're a student or engineer and you want access to the web app that you see demoed today, you can also send me an email with your re uh, request and I will work on giving you access to that. Now, how do you manually download files from the web app and manually start an Astron? So let's go ahead and step back for a moment. When you go to the exporter in the web app, you have two options to download files. Option one is a package. Once you extract the package, there is an option inside to automatically start Nastran for you. This is the recommended way of starting Nastran and uploading results to the file or the web app. The reason I say this is because it does everything automatically for you. Now, if for some reason, you cannot use this automatic method. There is a second option available to you. This second option is known as option two. Let me go ahead and delete, uh, or I'll leave the files there. When you click on this button, it will be given a prompt. This prompt is saying that it's downloaded the model BDF file, and you see that here in the bottom bar, but it wants to download also the file on the right. Click allow and the second file will be downloaded for you. So you can see my downloads folder now has the second uh, set of files. I'll go ahead and create a folder and I'll call it option two. So these files are what you need to perform your optimization. Uh, keep in mind that if you're using include files, so for example, here it's saying include this file. If you're using any other include files, make sure they're also in the same directory. So now that I have both files in one folder, I can open Nastran. I can go to this folder and select model BDF. This is going to go ahead and manually perform the optimization for me. So the optimization is complete. Uh, when it's complete, make sure that at the very bottom, it tells you let me see if I can find it. Run terminated due to hard convergence. This is indication the optimization has gone through successfully. Once that is finished, you have to manually upload the results to the web app. So here, if you go to results, go to local optimization. The way you know which uh, type to select is determined under settings. Here, if you look at the checkboxes, you're performing a local optimization. So if you go back here, you click on the local optimization application. Navigate to that same folder, select your F06 file, and upload the results. Here you get the same message, run terminated due to our convergence. It has a green track box, so it went through successfully. And you can review your results as before. Now again, um, I highly recommend using the automatic method. Um, you can see that it has both the design model and the model BDF files but it also has the automatic executable. So here, when you trigger that, it performs your optimization and then automatically uploads the results for you. So again, I recommend using option one whenever you can, but if you have to use option two, where you download and you manually start Nastran, that's also available to you in the web app. Now let's go over and talk about number two. What if you're performing global optimization? Global optimization requires a secondary program known as multi-opt. So how do you manually trigger that? So here, let's go to settings and 
change this to global optimization. I should add one quick comment. The previous procedure I just demonstrated will work if you're selecting local optimization or sensitivity analysis. So if you select any of these two types, local and sensitivity, the same procedure applies. Now, this next procedure only applies to this option. The last two procedures you see here only work if you use option one. So those won't be covered in this section. Uh, so here, let's go ahead and talk about how to perform a global optimization with this checkbox selected. If you go back to the exporter, like before, click on option two. This is going to download three files, the file on the left, the file on the right, and a go.xml file. Let's go back to my downloads directory and create a new folder called uh, three global optimization. It probably would be worth deleting everything that's not being used. So remember that these three files are necessary to perform global optimization. Let's go ahead and drag and drop that here to my desktop. Uh, what you're supposed to do after this, you're supposed to use the command prompt to start the optimization. So here, what it should be is MSC 2018.0 or the version of Nastran multi-opt go.xml. So you'll see this first error, MSC 2018.0 is not recognized as an internal or external command. What you are supposed to do, you're supposed to add, uh, how do I say, a environment variable. So to do this, number one, track down the location where Nastran is installed. So for this, here is 2018, look for the bin folder. This is what you wanna copy now. Next, open my computer, select properties, go to advanced settings. In the left-hand column, you see it's right here. Click on environment variables, go down to path, click edit. And then let's open notepad. So I'll call this the before, and then I'll call this the after. So what we are going to do, we're going to take this existing path and we are going to paste it here. And you can see there's a lot of data here. Uh, we're also going to update this uh, a value, if you will. So here we'll go ahead and go back. We'll copy the location of Nastran 2018 and we'll go ahead and paste this at the very end. Uh, make sure there are no spaces. Uh, make sure you use a semicolon to separate each new additional path. I'll go ahead and select this new path value. And then I'll go ahead and add it here. So now it's empty, I'll go ahead and paste the new one. And then at the very end, you'll see that I have a location for uh, MSC Nastran 2018, the bin folder. Let's click okay there and there. And let's go ahead and restart the machine. Or it may be the case that maybe I don't need to restart the machine. That's okay. Um, let me just go here. Let's see if it finds it. Oh, perfect, it did. So now you see that before, if I typed in MC 2018.0, it did not work. It said that's an unrecognized program. But now if I type in the same statement, MC 2018, and the 2018 depends on the version number you have. I type in multi-opt, and then I type in .xml. Uh, here, what I did is I navigated to my downloads folder. Then I navigated to the folder that contains my go.xml file. Uh, that same folder has all the files, all the BDF files I acquired from the web app. Uh, then after that, uh, after I type this in, I can start the optimization. This is where you have to consider the second requirement. You need to specify a design or environment variable known as MC license file. So here, let's work on that. So like before, create a new environment vi variable called MC license file. This is where you supply the location of your license file. So here, if it's available locally, it'd be somewhere like downloads.license.dat. Uh, but here I am using a license server. So I'm going to point to the uh, port number 
and then the name of the server. Here, in my case, it might, it's Bender. You might be some uh, odd uh, IP address. It might be some machine name, like, uh, I don't know, google.com or, or something like that. But here, it's I'm using the, the host name. I'll click OK, OK here, and then I need to perform a restart. So let's go ahead and just uh, close all of this and perform the restart. So again, in order to use the go.xml file for um, global optimization, you need to one, specify the environment variable. Number two, specify the location of your license file. Once you have those two requirements satisfied, you can issue that command prompt statement that will start the global optimization. So here, let's go ahead and go back here and start the global optimization. Uh, first thing I'll do is I'll make sure that there are no files in here. Okay, everything looks good. I'll go ahead and navigate to that folder, downloads, uh, that directory. Let me clear all of this. The MSC 2018-0 multi-opt, go.xml. And then this time, everything should go through successfully. Uh, here you get some prompts to allow access. Um, you can essentially disregard those. Um, here I'll just say allow access. And then here you see Nastrans doing its thing. It's performing a global optimization as we are speaking. Now, I think I'll go ahead and pause the video there for a quick moment and I'll wait for this to finish. So while the optimization is occurring, it would be worth showing my contact address just in case you want to reach me. So as usual, if if you're a student or engineer and you want access to the web app I demoed a moment ago, you can contact me at this email address. If you're a professional engineer and you have a question on how to do this sort of operation, you can also contact me. Now, the global optimization is complete. Um, your results are contained in this file called multi opt log. This file now has to be manually uploaded to the web app. So we'll go ahead and do that now. If you go to the size web app and look in the results section, there's a global optimization multi opt log here. Click on that, select files, navigate to the folder, click multi opt.log, and click upload and the web app will go ahead and plot the results for you. Uh, so that's how you manually start Nastran if you're performing a local or sensitivity analysis. This method I just showed is for only perf uh, global optimization. If you use global optimization type two or parameter study, only option one will be available. And just as a last thing, uh, let's suppose that you did not set the environment variable for the location of Nastran. There's also another method you can do this. So here, let me just delete all this. Uh, find the folder that contains Nastran bin. And then here we'll go ahead and create our path and look for the msc2018.exe file. We'll copy that and we'll paste it here. So here, let's go ahead and uh, navigate to the folder where the go.xml file is. We'll paste the directory or the location of MC 2018.0. We'll type in multi-opt and then go.xml. And then you'll see you, you're able to do the same thing uh, if you don't specify the location of the bin folder. So there you have it. That is how you manually start Nastran to perform a local optimization, a sensitivity analysis, or a global optimization. Uh, this is how you manually upload results to the web app. You go to the results section, you pick your application, you upload the files manually. But I'll make this the last statement. I encourage you to use option one as much as possible. It will save you a lot of the effort um, that I just took uh, throughout this entire video. With that, I think I'll stop there and I'll end with my email address here. Feel free to send me an email if you have a question. Thank you for watching.